I am going to share with you my luxury resort experience just off Fitness Street that I've been staying in now for six nights. I've been training on and around Fitness Street for six months. G'day my friends, welcome back to the Fitness Street Series. It is the 20th of November, 2022. I am gonna share with you my luxury resort experience just off Fitness Street that I've been staying in now for six nights. I've been training on and around Fitness Street for six months. I leave tonight to fly back to Melbourne and I wanted to share this place with you that I've been staying in for six nights and there's literally nobody staying here except one or two other people, which surprises me because this place is absolutely stunning. It's Coco Retreat. It's also a place I stayed in back in 2019. And uh, if you're looking for a place with a little bit of luxury and you want to spoil yourself, which is what I've decided to do for the tail end of my trip here, because uh, I've been six months training on and around training on and around Fitness Street, I wanted to give myself a little bit of luxury in the final six days of my trip here. Managed to get a discount on this place because there's literally nobody staying here except a few other people. So they rather have someone in the room than nobody at all. They still have to pay to keep this place open and maintain it. So if you're familiar with Cocoville, and it's a little bit windy, so I'll step over here. If you're familiar with Cocoville, uh, Cocoville is on a side street to Fitness Street, the same owner as Coco Retreat, this place that I'm staying in. Also the same owner as Coco Paradiso. He owns Co Coco Paradiso, which is adjoined to Coco Retreat. So I'll show you very quickly. This place, just like Cocoville, has two swimming pools, which to be fair, on this trip, I haven't actually been swimming in these swimming pools. Last time I was here in 2019, I was swimming in these pools, but that this is the first pool here. And actually, while I've got the camera facing on this side, the room that I'm staying is just over there. I think it's room 104. You'll see my stuff there drying there. That, I think, is one of the nicest rooms, uh, nicest views, because I can see the entire like pool area. It's absolutely phenomenal. And I actually make a separate video where I give a proper room tour. Uh, I'll link it up down below in the description if you want to see uh, a full room tour of what I like to call my luxury man cave because uh, I've been man caving it up uh, for the past uh, four months uh, two home and six pack cottage uh, which I don't mind they're two great places too if you're on a super tight budget but I decided to stay in a luxury man cave uh, for the last six nights this is the second pool here uh, phenomenal really really nice again haven't swum in this pool on this trip I did swim in this back in 2019, but these rooms, there's no one staying in them, they're empty. It's unbelievable. I really can't believe it. This place, like many others, got hit hard by the pandemic, and I think they're still recovering much, very much from the effects of the lockdowns and the pandemic and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but I'll show you very quickly the restaurant area, uh, which is closed at the moment. Today is Sunday. They're also planning to run a shuttle bus service between Coco Retreat and Cocoville three times per day. Uh, maybe by the time I publish this video, they'll have a shuttle bus service because this resort is on the next street from Fitness Street. I'll throw up a little map on the screen so you can see. We just go to Google, type in Coco Retreat. Um, you can actually walk from here to Fitness Street. You can take like a little bit of a shortcut path. Um, but I've been using a scooter, which is much quicker for me to just zip straight around, just zip around to Fitness Street. Um, but yeah, you can stay here. You can walk to Fitness Street from here if you take the secret pathway, I guess. Uh, it's an extra 15, 20 minute walk uh, to Fitness Street. So this is the restaurant area, I guess, uh, which is closed at the moment um, on Sunday. But uh, they've got the raw fitness menu exactly like uh, Coco Ville, if you're familiar with the raw fitness menu, same owner, same menu, same kind of layout and setup. 
and really really beautiful place very peaceful very nice so if you guys and gals are looking for a little bit of luxury uh then maybe consider this place i will actually link up down below i'll put the email address because what i usually do is i i contact the resort managers uh directly uh, to try and get a discount because if you go through booking.com you usually pay a little bit extra for your accommodation so down below i'll link up their email address just send them an email directly um, it might be the email address for cocoville it's the same owner the same uh, lena as the manager so she sees the inbox for this place and i asked lena this you can just you know email the cocoville email address and i'll find an email for this particular resort anyway it's going to be linked up down below in the description it's a little bit windy so i apologize for the noise but the uh this is the little pathway rural jungle feel really really nice so when you send an email to this resort to try and get a discount uh directly with the resort manager uh you don't don't have to mention my name at all uh just send them an email directly get a discount it's exactly what i did i just contacted uh, lena directly and that's it pretty straightforward and i'll show you real quick coco paradiso in case when you watch this video and you know this place gets packed out and fully booked you could stay at coco paradiso i've never stayed at coco paradiso uh, same owner as coco retreat um, but again it's empty and it's crazy but I'll, I'll show you very quickly what coco paradiso looks like so as you can see uh, i'll take the pathway through here this is coco paradiso now we're inside coco paradiso we have a swimming pool here for Coco Paradiso. And if we have a look here, same kind of water fountains as what you see at Cocoville. This is the restaurant area as well, and the cafe area, uh, and the reception area for Coco Paradiso. I literally just came through those doors there, which will take you back into Coco Retreat. Beautiful swimming pool. No one uses it. It's so beautiful but there's nobody here except a couple of people i've only seen a couple of people at coco paradiso they've also got a yoga studio uh, at the rooftop of coco paradiso where i make a separate video on the yoga studio i know some of you uh, might be interested in doing yoga uh, near fitness street there's the hot yoga place on fitness street but there's also uh, the coco paradiso yoga studio on the rooftop so I'll make a separate video on that. And I'll link it up down below if you're interested in the yoga upstairs. But this is the poolside cafe here at Coco Paradis. So there is literally, like this is just a unbelievable hidden gem. Nobody here, completely empty. It's so beautiful. It's so it's just empty. So I think eventually when this video gets out, I'm sure this place will book up. Uh, pretty quickly because I know at the moment Cocoville uh, is fully booked for we're in November now shooting this I know they're fully booked for now between the wind sorry about the wind all right I'm really sorry about the wind there's a bit of a wind tunnel there so uh, so yeah anyway um, definitely check this place out uh, Coco Retreat Coco Paradiso beautiful luxury uh, just off Fitness Street uh, on the next street across from Fitness Street and yeah i'll link up my room tour video of the room i've been staying in i think it's room 104 i'll link it up down below in the description and yeah as i said if you want to get a discount on this place like me just email them directly you don't have to mention my name and maybe one day you guys will be experiencing this beautiful paradise just like i have for the last six nights of my trip before i fly off back to melbourne tonight at 9 30 so oh, been six months training on and around fitness street it's been a real uh, honor to have that amount of time to train here because originally I was only meant to come out for uh, two weeks and it became six months so real quick that's my room up there try and get that room if you can <laughs> anyway thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one